technical issue Looking for secure, personal Wi-Fi everywhere you go? Meet the Nighthawk M5 mobile router from Netgear, designed to deliver blazing fast 5G to all your Wi-Fi devices. Connect the Nighthawk M5 to your existing home router for Wi-Fi with 5G speeds. Stay connected securely on the move and pitch high bandwidth base camp wherever, whenever you need it. At home or on the go, 5G can follow. With the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology, simple-to-use touchscreen design, and a long-life rechargeable battery, never leave your secure, personal network behind and enjoy 5G for up to 32 devices. Secure, reliable, high-capacity 5G Wi-Fi. Anywhere and everywhere you go. The Nighthawk M5 mobile router from Netgear. Wherever you go, 5G can follow. Hello, everybody. How is everyone doing here today? Uh, today, we'll be uh, doing essentially our virtual event series here. Uh, this is a show that we do every Tuesday from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time. And today, we'll be talking about all of our mobile solutions, going from the Aircard 7097, uh, from our low end to our high end, which goes to our M5 5G Wi-Fi 6 mobile router, which you guys just saw in that sizzle video and uh, our LBR20 Orbi LTE fixed wireless router. So if this is your first time here on the show, welcome. I'll be your host for you today. I am Angelo, I'm the Senior Interactive Media Specialist here at Netgear. I manage this, this YouTube channel, the Netgear YouTube channel, the Night Hopper Gaming Twitch channel, and really if you follow Netgear on Facebook, Night Hopper Gaming on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, there's probably a chance that I had my hand on uh, the piece of content that you saw on your feed. So happy to have everyone here in the chat. We do have some regulars. I'm about to shout you guys out. But before we go ahead and get started, Max, welcome back to the show. Uh, this is not hey, your hello, first everyone. time either. So um, yeah. go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, hey, hey guys. Thanks. If, thank you for uh, having me again, Angelo. Uh, I'm a, a front of managers for uh, uh, mobile uh, categories here and the gears and uh, today I'm here to uh, help to answer some of your uh, questions and uh, hopefully I, I can do my uh, my job <laughs> all right awesome uh, Janice welcome uh, Janice and Trina this is your guys's first time here so welcome how are you guys doing yeah great awesome Janice um, can you go ahead and introduce yourself sure I'm from the product marketing team um, Vancouver and uh, supporting the mobile division. So all our products that range from mobile hotspots to um, LTE and 5G um, products. So awesome. yeah, happy to be here. Trina, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Hi, YouTube friends. <laughs> I'm I am a Netgear brand advocate, and we get to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart since I work all over the place, everywhere, in every situation you can imagine. So. I'm excited to talk about all of our mobility products today to answer your questions. Perfect, perfect. All right, so to everyone here who is new to the virtual event series, uh, this is something that actually came about from, well, one, listening to you guys, but also due to the circumstances here, we've been shelter in place for a few months now. 
literally over the six month mark at this point so hopefully we're able to um deliver a show every week that you guys find valuable uh and then this is an interactive show so please everyone drop in your comments uh we'll be answering them uh live through the hour from 12 p.m pacific time to 1 p.m pacific time and the virtual event series this really came about from us not being able to do the trade shows that we usually do um going from summer but this this does go all year round so as we all know everything is pulled in virtually uh unfortunately we're not able to go to these trade shows to these conventions uh and get face to face and you guys in IRL uh in in real life really but fortunately for you guys uh we are able to do this virtually no ticket needed no hotel needed you guys could anyone who has youtube uh whether it's on your phone or on your computer this is something that you're able to still get that face-to-face -face time as if you were at a convention booth uh we're going to be talking to you um pretty much about our entire mobile portfolio and really uh we're going to be talking oh, we're really going to be talking about all these products in detail which uh max janice and trina i got you guys as my special guests to help talk about all the exciting stuff that we're really cooking up for the mobile line so we do have a video coming in from from Yash, who unfortunately is not on the show today, but he did a very good job uh, giving you guys that trade show booth experience. So, Max, Janice, and Trina, if you guys are ready, we're gonna go ahead and uh, welcome everybody to the Negri booth. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ow. Hello, welcome to our virtual event series. We're so glad you could join us. I'm Yash Ruparelia from the digital marketing team here at Netgear. And we'd like to give you a tour of the mobile broadband portfolio and secure portable Wi-Fi solutions from Netgear. Our line of mobile Wi-Fi devices keeps our customers connected from anywhere with best-in-class Wi-Fi performance and security for your connected devices. We deserve better than public Wi-Fi connections. And with a Netgear mobile router or hotspot, we don't have to worry about searching and hopping on different Wi-Fi networks or joining unsecured networks that are open to anyone. Netgear AirCard mobile hotspots are well known for their reliability and they've been popular with carriers and global service providers for years. Let's start with this mobile hotspot, the AirCard 797. This mobile hotspot is a compact yet powerful device that can connect up to 32 Wi-Fi devices simultaneously. As an unlocked device, the AC797 mobile hotspot works best on the AT&T network or the T-Mobile network. Simply insert the SIM card here. The setup is easy with no additional software required, just our Netgear mobile app. The battery of the AC797 mobile hotspot lasts up to 11 hours on a single charge. Next, let's take a look at our Nighthawk M1 mobile router. This was the first mobile router that Netgear introduced, supporting 4G LTE Advanced Category 16 with 4x4 MIMO and 4-band carrier aggregation. This mobile router can deliver 4G LTE speeds to 20 Wi-Fi devices. With an Ethernet port, you can enjoy always-on Wi-Fi. If your broadband internet is interrupted or unavailable, you can switch seamlessly to the 4G LTE connection. You can also enable data offloading or connect directly to a device. Finally, you can even connect to a Nighthawk mesh extender if you'd like to use it while on-premise which is a very popular option for anyone who finds faster speeds on the cellular network versus the wired internet options in their area. The Nighthawk M1 is also unlocked and works best on the AT&T network or the T-Mobile network. Our next generation of the Nighthawk mobile routers is the Nighthawk M2 mobile router. This device is available in the APAC and EMEA regions and achieves maximum download speeds of up to two gigabits per second. With a touchscreen LCD design, you can conveniently control device settings and monitor your data usage at a glance. Just like the M1, the Nighthawk M2 can connect up to 20 Wi-Fi devices and is unlocked. Now we mentioned the Netgear mobile app earlier, but let's take a closer look at the app. The Netgear mobile app is free and is a simple and convenient way to manage your device settings. View your connection status, change your network password, set up a guest Wi-Fi network, parental controls, or even connect to a Nighthawk mesh extender to expand your Wi-Fi coverage if you're using the mobile connection as your primary internet at home. Finally, this is our Nighthawk M5 mobile router, the first 5G mobile router from Netgear. We introduced the Nighthawk M5 mobile router at CES 2020, 
and he was named a CES 2020 Innovation Awards honoree. We've all been waiting for 5G to arrive, and this 5G mobile device can deliver download speeds of up to 4 gigabits per second and share 5G network speeds with up to 32 Wi-Fi devices. See, Netgear is known for technology inflections, and this device demonstrates that by combining 5G with Wi-Fi 6, the latest technologies both in cellular networks as well as Wi-Fi. This combination is capable of delivering gigabit plus internet speeds to your home, allowing for more devices to connect and stream simultaneously, all without impacting speed or reliability. If you'd like to learn more about our other Wi-Fi 6 products, please visit netgear.com slash Wi-Fi 6. With the Nighthawk M5, we can now offer 5G fixed wireless options. Bring revolutionary 5G speeds into your home or office by simply connecting the Nighthawk M5 to your existing router and expanding your Wi-Fi coverage. Now, last but not least, is our newest LTE fixed wireless option from the Orbi family at Netgear. The first Orbi router with an integrated cellular modem. This Orbi 4G LTE router is perfect if you live in an area where cable, DSL, or fiber internet is lacking or just simply not meeting your needs. Simply insert a SIM card from a major compatible mobile network provider and you can now access the fastest internet speeds using the 4G LTE network in your area. Cover your whole home with high performance Wi-Fi of up to 1.2 gigabits per second on 4G LTE with a coverage range of up to 2,000 square feet. To expand coverage even further, you can also add select compatible Orbi AC satellites to create a mesh Wi-Fi system. Now, similar to all of our Orbi products, setup is complete in minutes using the Orbi app. Manage internet access, set time limits, and filter content with Circle Smart Parental Controls. Also included is Netgear Armor, guarding your home network and your connected devices with advanced cyber threat protection. Well, that just about covers it for today. I want to thank you for visiting the Netgear booth today and checking out our lineup of mobile devices. If you'd like to learn more about any of our mobile products, please check out our website at netgear.com. I hope to see you again soon. All right, and we're back. We hope you guys enjoy that. Again, this is your time to ask all the questions really about our mobile products. And this is a story that I think it's just gonna become ever more prevalent as a, uh, you got more folks working from home and they need Wi-Fi wherever they go. Uh, maybe you got a vacation home and you don't want to be paying a monthly ISP bill. And how do you do it? Maybe you're able to um, you know, one, bring a mobile hotspot or maybe something like fixed wireless, the LVR20 is, uh, is, is a better kind of solution for you. But either way, we're going to be taking a deep dive into all these products. Don't hear from me. Again, I'm going to be uh, going to our experts. Max, Janice, and Trina to tell you about all about the mobile products that uh, we have to, to offer. But before we do that, I do want to shout out our regulars and everyone who has been in the comments. Um, thank you for joining the show, especially early. I know we got uh, Vanessa Kitty as our first one in the chat. Uh, we always love and appreciate you uh, coming back to every single one of these shows, um, especially for, for doing all the research that you've done, because especially with 5G, we have been getting a lot of comments about the M5 and listening to you guys. That's why we want to be able to do these shows to be able to tell you all about um, you know, what's, what's new with the M5 and really just to keep you guys up to date, because um, otherwise it's so hard for us when we're not at these shows. Uh, or if you're not following us on social, this is your best way to give your feedback over to, to, our, to our product managers and really to, to our immediate team here um, and make sure that you're being heard um, as, our, as, our, as our special customers. But awesome, we got Salem, we got, uh, we got Sultan actually uh, asking the first question here. And I think we could kind of dive into it. I know we have a little bit more of an introduction here, but I'm gonna toss this up to the rest of the team here and throw you a bone. Sultan asks, the big question, when will we see the retail version of the MR5200 5G router? So the uh, M5, that's, that's a big question we've been getting pretty recently. I would love me to help out with that question. Um, yeah, uh, I, I bet, uh, I mean, normally we don't disclose any uh, roadmap uh, information, but uh, yeah, it should be coming soon. <laughs> should be coming soon. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. But currently, you still、um, you can get the ATT versions if you are on the networks. So、um, I believe it's currently still on their website right now. So if you don't want to wait for the full unlocked version, then you know ATT would be the best choice for you.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I can actually float this up right now. So Max, you mentioned that. It is available on the AT&T website at the moment.、Okay. I wonder if we could actually float a link here. So this is for 5G, and then we're again we're going to take a little bit more of a deep dive here、um, later on into the show. But the 5G M5 mobile hotspot is a、uh, yeah is available actually on the、uh, the AT&T website. We could actually、um, go ahead and drop that link in the description here.、Um, we got we actually got a couple people here on the line that are happy to help out. So. Um, if you guys、uh, are new to the show, we got Christine here. She'll be managing the chat from the Netgear account. But we also got our expert Jim, who is our、um, he's our leader when it comes to 4G LTE and 5G products here at Netgear.、Uh, everyone, say hello to Jim and the chat. He'll be also be helping out with any questions you guys have. So, so we'll go ahead and send that link out、uh, for anyone who's interested in the M5 on AT&T. Again, well,、uh, we can't disclose yet on the date on the full unlocked version. But for AT&T, go ahead and check that out today. Perfect. And just to go down the chat a little bit more, Food ASMR. I love your name. <laughs> <laughs> Hello.、Um, and、uh, really, everybody here,、um, we love and appreciate you guys coming here. So please, please drop your questions in, and we're going to be、um, going down through it all the way till the end of the show here. So Max, Janice, and Trina, let's go ahead and get started. How? To anyone here who is.、Uh, I guess looking for a mobile solution, and maybe they're not really sure on where to start. Maybe 5G, they're not sure if they're willing to go up on that route versus maybe something like AirCard. How would you kind of set the stage here for anyone who's interested in our mobile products? Sure. So any of our products are going to be easy to manage, and absolutely.、Um, Critical to whatever your whatever your application is, but、um, we do have some versions that are a little more robust. So, if if you look at it in a good, better, best type of way, you can start with the AC seven ninety seven, which、um, actually that that's probably more robust than most solutions that even exist out there. AC seven ninety seven will give you an eleven hour battery life. You can connect up to thirty two devices on that, and you can take it absolutely anywhere that you that you need to be connected. Which is really it's everywhere now, right?、Um, if you're connect unconnected for just a second or two, it's horrible.、Uh, the M one is a great solution for someone who may be using it for、um, maybe on a more regular basis. And for someone who may need an Ethernet port, so if you are using it for personal use and for business use, the M1 really comes in handy. You can connect up to 20 different devices, create a separate guest network. You're you're really it's much more than a mobile hotspot,、uh, which is why we you usually refer to it as the mobile router because it's got so many different so many different capabilities. Uh, multiple device devices, guest network, Ethernet port, and、um, I mean long battery life on that one. I forget how many hours, but it's pretty much a, an, a complete day if you're running everything. And I'm I'm usually running everything, so and it'll go all day. Ooh, something key about that M1 too. If you are posted up somewhere remotely all day, you can actually、um, run it without the battery in it if you just leave it. Plugged in, so it's kind of a nice feature. And then, of course, we just launched with AT&T on the 18th, our newest、uh, Wi-Fi 6 5G mobile hotspot, the M5, which someone already had a question about. So that one's up to 32 devices, also long battery life, and、um, and that Ethernet port. And this one is touchscreen, so that's that's one of the key differentiators too. So really. Any of the mobile hotspots are going to work great for you, but if you know you're going to need an Ethernet port or longer battery life, then you'll want to take that into consideration when you're when you're choosing.、Mm-hmm. Perfect. So it seems like we really do have that solution for、um, really kind of any level of productivity. So I mean, I could kind of attest to, man, I miss it when we did these actual events at conventions.、Um, I know that something like the、uh, the M1 has actually saved my life. 
many, <laughs> many times. Many, many yes. times. And yes. it's really just so easy to just turn it on and all of a sudden it'll it'll connect like, you know, especially because you can't really trust Convention Center uh, Wi-Fi a lot of the times here. Just unfortunately, you know, especially when I'm like out there talking to folks and trying to send them, you know, links to our web pages and trying to get them all signed up, you know, having uh, this reliable internet access um, really also uh, to this day um, has never really been more important. So, you know, we, we're going to be taking a deep dive here, uh, starting with Aircard. And I think, uh, Janice, you actually did float up um, uh, a pretty good uh, a pretty good slide to me on, all right, why can't you just use your mobile phone as a hotspot? Well, you could, um, and a lot of people <laughs> do. Uh -huh. But, I mean, there are benefits to a dedicated mobile hotspot device because you're not using your phone um, and draining the battery is the biggest thing I find when I use it. It used to be really bad. Um, it's improved over the years with these phones now, the latest phones, but it's still a really quick drain on the battery. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to be out of battery on my phone and then switching to a battery pack. It's just a lot of hassle. Um, and I would like to not have to charge my phone every night. So when you use your hotspot on the phone, like the hotspot feature on your phone, um, what happens is you have to stick with whoever's on your network, right? Um, let's say I'm sharing it with my family and if I, um, if they need to step away from my phone, they will lose or drop the connection to my hotspot. So I can't, I'm not ready to give them my phone, right? I would want to keep my phone by my side. Mm -hmm. So the phone is very limited um, in different ways. Uh, with the hotspot, I can just give that device, the hotspot, to whoever needs it for the day. It doesn't need to be with me all the time. Um, but if someone's you know, with me relatively closely for the day, then we can all stay on it. Um, but again, it's a dedicated device. I know what it does, and it's portable. It's very compact, um, so lots of good benefits to it. Mm -hmm. And certainly, it can connect multiple devices. So even with our hotspot, we've gone up to 32 devices, and so that's you know quite um, heavy duty, I think, mm -hmm. um, more so than a phone. Yeah. Cool. And we did yeah. actually. Oh, sorry. Max, go ahead. No, 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 there's a really good point. I think we mentioned that uh, to our last stream. So there's people asking why iPhone mm -hmm. is not the good choices, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, um, uh, Janice has, has a great answer for you. The really simple answer is that your phone is not designed to handle these tasks, right? It, every hardware design has its own purposes. And uh, I mean, again, you can use it. The, the, the big downside is, you can, like I think we mentioned last time, you can try to connect uh, two, two, three devices at the same time while running you know, uh, doing mm -hmm. the streaming. And then you just wait for four or five minutes and see how hard your iPhone or your uh, any mm -hmm. cell phone will be, right? You'll be a little really hot uh, brick, <laughs> right? And mm -hmm. it's it's really the way it is. And then, you know, the throughput standpoint, you're not gonna get uh, a very high speed either, right? Because again, your the Wi-Fi client inside the phone just not designed to handle all these tasks. So, you know, really, if you want a best over experience, you should go with the proper hardware design, which is the mobile hotspot uh, for, for for this usage, right? And then leave the phone to do its own thing, right? That's, uh, again, for emergency use, yes, but you know, for a whole day purposes, for your business, for e-learning classes, please don't. <laughs> right. Yeah, and okay. just to yeah. attest to that, I do think the demands of uh, what we're doing nowadays are, you know, obviously they're changing, right? You know, you can't really run uh, an entire day of Zoom classes. Let's say you're learning from home, probably just off of your phone and expect that to last you through your day. Now imagine that plus maybe you're at a, um, maybe at a home with the with DSL and maybe it's not super, super reliable. So you have one of these hotspots. Um, so you can have maybe one device, but then also imagine adding the second device, third device, fourth device, that just kind of compounds um, the amount of congestion, the amount of um, uh, performance that you're able to get out diminishes the more devices you add. So something like your mobile phone here, I think as you could kind of see in the slide, it's gonna be a lot more limited. So really, when you kind of drill it down, uh, we could kind of start going in from like, who is the, uh, I guess that level of productivity, um, who is that for, for the AirCard 797 versus maybe something like the step up on the, the, the Nighthawk M1. I, I think that we're gonna be able to take a little bit of deep dive into that. Actually, I did wanna get a question in from the chat though. Uh, Vanessa, um, she's saying, 
She's trying to find a SIM card with unthrottled, unlimited connection. My current provider and the previous one only allows 15 gigabytes through cellular before they throttle it, which is essentially useless after that. So is there anything that we offer in terms of an unlimited account or what do we offer in terms of uh, data limits when it comes to SIM cards? Um, for a mobile hotspot, um, we, again, today we are not shipping any uh, um, SIM card or data plan alone with our mobile hotspot product line. Uh, we do have that on the fixed wireless device, which is our uh, OB uh, LT router. Uh, so we partner with the TrackPhone Clearway to offer a very compelling data uh, plans for our users. Uh, but for hotspot today, there is really, uh, we don't have any um, um, SIM card plan or data plan that uh, come along with the products. Um, but uh, again, there there are many of the the, um, the small carriers out there that do offering a, um, a f or a close to unlimited uh, data plan. Uh, it may not be coming from the, old, the major three uh, tiers, guys like T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. But uh, do some research; you will probably find there are uh, multiple uh, mid or small sizes. Um, um, carriers that they do offer a, a, a larger or cheaper plans for your uh, for your mobile hotspot usage. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, hey, that just sorry to interrupt you okay. there. Uh, no, that just yeah. made me think of a tip for those that may already have our mobile hotspot. Um, mm -hmm. When it comes to data, one of the features that a lot of people don't know about is our data offloading. So with each of our devices. We've got an app that makes it extremely easy to manage the device. And one of the best features, uh, I, I use the M1 myself, someone asked me about that on the chat, but um, one of my favorite features is the data offloading. And what that means is that let's say you are somewhere where there's free public Wi-Fi. Well, that's a big no-no. We're not allowed to use free public Wi-Fi because of the security reasons. Well, we have a way to not only keep you secure, but to kind of put a pause on your data usage. So what you would do is you would open your app, you would select data offload, and what that's gonna do is bring up a list of available Wi-Fi networks, just like you were signing on anywhere, and you would choose, I don't know, whatever, Panera Bread, Starbucks, wherever you're at, choose that, and then you will see a message that says not using data. I mean, it's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty simple. So that should help to save you on some of your data. And here's another great thing about that. If you're with multiple people, let's say you're all having lunch at Panera Bread and they have free Wi-Fi, and you've got 12 devices between the four of you connected to this hotspot. Well, when that hotspot user gets onto the app and selects data offload, everybody that was connected stays connected. So you don't have to go into every single device and choose that free Wi-Fi that you're not supposed to be using. Oh, wow. And how about the security? Are you still behind that security? You, yeah, it's acting yeah. like, boop, here's the free Wi-Fi up here in the sky. <laughs> here's your devices, yeah, uh -huh. the cloud. Yep. Um, and then here's your protection, like a almost like a firewall or, yeah, it's just your extra layer of protection there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that that security uh, benefit that, you know, let's say you are a manager working pretty much on the go, and mm -hmm. maybe you are at a, a city you're not as familiar with, and you gotta you gotta get your stuff done here. Um, really trying to focus or like let's say use your hotspot rather than trust these public Wi-Fi networks like the airport, never like the cafe. Those. Yeah, and especially never, if never. You're, yep, yeah, and I think that that is so so important, especially again you know a lot of remote workers here aren't really aware of this they're not really aware of like the the dangers that are uh, that can happen if you're just right. sending out your files without really thinking about sure how, like what, what what kind of networks you're using here so i think or that's you're aware aspect. of it yeah, yeah you're aware of it but you always think well that's not going to happen to me yeah <laughs> until it does happen. exactly <laughs> until it does no one cares happen. what i'm doing mm -hmm. that's not true though <laughs> all right another question coming in from vanessa here uh, this one is about the M5. Does the M5, uh, which is the 5G uh, uh, Wi-Fi 6 mobile router, does it still have external antenna input connections? And if so, what type of connections need it? Uh, so yes, I have the M5 samples out here. So you can see there's still two antenna connectors. 
this is based on the TS9 mm -hmm. uh, design. So is there any connect any connection based on the TS9 connectors uh, uh, mail um, antennas will work with M5. Uh, one thing to want to highlight though, um, the M5 at and version today does have the mini video wave and sub six radio. Uh, any of external antenna will only support the sub six radios. Uh, mini wave there will be required a special tuning um, so it will not support any external antenna for mini mini meter wave uh, radio today okay all right all right and um i think that one did that coincide also with salem's question here i uh, just want to make sure i got that one as well does the necker m5 support sub six gigahertz and mm wave 5g or only sub six gigahertz for well, AT&T version, it has both uh, mini meter wave and uh, sub six radio. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Cool. Awesome. Well, uh, I hope that was uh, that was helpful. Again, you know, we really appreciate these kind of these kinds of questions coming in here. Um, again, everybody who was in the chat, thank you for joining. Uh, we have about uh, twenty minutes really um, to to make sure that you guys are dropping your questions in and uh, make sure that you're being heard. I will toss one more out, uh, coming in from Dave Garrett. Welcome back. I do remember you from our previous shows. Um, are clients isolated or can they talk to each other? The latter might be helpful for customer demos. Hmm. Uh, I sorry, guess this what's is, the yeah. I guess this is coming in for not one specific uh, hotspot we're offering, but the question is, are clients isolated or can they talk to each other? The latter might be handy for customer demos. So I believe today our design, we doesn't have any uh, VLAN um, separated out the network. So again, if you're all connected into the send house spots um, under the send networks, yes, they should be able to sing each other. Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's the current design. Yeah. Perfect, awesome. Cool. I think I'm a, I'm a little bit more caught up here uh, in terms of the chat. So um, I know, Janice, you, you sent me over a couple of uh, cool visuals here to talk about kind of the difference between the M1, the M2, and the M5. I know there was a couple chat messages here where uh, I think we're talking about chess. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to make sure that we're really clear on the differences between uh, each one of these products, if you would be um, you know happy to, to take us through them. Sure. So the Nighthawk M1 was our very first mobile router, um, which, as Trina spoke to earlier, is the hotspot, but with an Ethernet. So that's why we called it a router. Um, so it's not just your everyday hotspot. Um, now, the M1 was available pretty much worldwide. So we first launched, I believe it was Australia, um, and then we moved um, back home to uh, North America. And then we went to Europe. So the M1 is pretty much worldwide. Uh, the M2, which is our next gen, uh, was only available in Europe um, and also Telstra in Australia. It wasn't available in North America. And then so today, if you go out and you shop for our mobile routers in the US, you'll find M1 and then M5, which mm -hmm. is our latest one that we launched, as mentioned last week or the 18th with AT&T. And uh, yeah, so that's our 5G device. Um, M1 and M2 were both uh, for GLTE. And then M5, our latest one, is the 5G mobile hotspot router. So mm -hmm. that's, yeah, kind of yeah. our latest. And oh, it's also got Wi-Fi 6. So yeah. it marries our, our best technologies, if you will, like from Netgear. So we're leaders in Wi-Fi, of course. So Wi-Fi 6 is the biggest number in Wi-Fi. And we're also experts in on the go Wi-Fi. So not only are we experts in your in-home Wi-Fi, now we're taking as like previous years, we've always been experts in mobile Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Now we're marrying Wi-Fi 6 with 5G. So you've really got the leading two technologies in one, which is why everyone wants this device. So 5G is still something that, well, one, I'm personally very excited for. Uh, mm -hmm. And I know a lot of our viewers are very excited for that. Again, you know, uh, the amount of questions that I think we get on Tech Support Live, mm -hmm. when is the M5 coming out? Or, um, yeah, like, when are we going to be able to get 5G? Uh, in terms of kind of rolling out to our phones and all that. So I know it's a little bit early, kind of early here in the life cycle, but um, are we able to kind of tell a little bit of the benefits that you will get from 5G and Wi-Fi 6 maybe versus, let's say, the M1 that we currently offer here, uh, which is only uh, LTE? What's that performance difference looking like? 
I think the Genesis probably have some really good uh, marketing data. Basically, just much faster. Um, like I would say, ten times faster. So ten everything times. you're doing on LTE networks, mm -hmm. you will be seeing, you know, if not double or triple the speed, right? On the downloading, the streaming without buffering, like basically think about everything you're doing right now. You know, mm -hmm. certain things really burden you by low, like uh, high latencies or sometimes yeah. your video is not working or sometimes your downloading take forever. You know, that divided or times at three, well, divided by three, you know, you will see that's the benefits of 5G, right? And think when things are start getting much faster, they creates a lot of new use cases, right? The, with the lower latency, um, now there's a lot of things is, is possible, right? Mainly, means the delay from, from the server to your device were much shorter. Um, there's a lot of things can happen in real time, right? The cloud computing, all these will be stress, drastically improved. Um, again, there's a lot of new cases. We're not going to cover everything in here, but like, you know, like for example, you know, autopilots for the motor audio, uh, automotive industries or, uh, you know, like a life surg surgical uh, things in hospital. Like, again, there's a lot of different new use cases uh, once this 5G technology fully rolled out and in being implemented. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think, Janice, you also have some good examples, probably. Yeah, um, like um, examples from right. what our partner at and is doing. So um, right. they partnered with us to launch this device because they committed to launching, Trina, what was it, 15 or 20 5G devices by 2020, by end of 2020? Yep, something like that. Yeah, um, and we're, I think we completed their commitment. Wow. I believe it's 15. Um, that goes from phones, right? 5G phones is mm -hmm. the most common device. And then we're a 5G hotspot. So um, typically people ask, hey, if I'm not ready to buy a 5G phone because they are very pricey, right? Um, what are the options? Well, if you get this hotspot, then um, you're uh, getting your 5G speeds to the M5, and then you're sharing those speeds with the devices that are connected to it. So in a way, it's kind of allowing you to get a taste of it, right? Um, mm -hmm. With all your devices at home mm -hmm. uh, and not having to upgrade individual devices. So that's one way of looking at it. Um, AT&T's got some great material on, um, on their website uh, on what they're doing. So feel free to browse there, what they're doing with 5G. Um, every, it's a race, right? All around the world, everyone's mm -hmm. trying to get 5G <laughs> right. built up. Yeah, and they certainly are committed to building their network out um, across the US. Um, so coverage maps are on their site if you want to find out if your area has 5G. Um, but their biggest three kind of components to the story is uh, capacity, more mm -hmm. capacity, and then speed, right? Faster speeds like Max spoke to, and then also Max spoke to lower latency. So things that it takes longer for you to do now, streaming stuff, or, you know, everyone's at home now, so everyone's on the network sharing. So if you have a bigger capacity for everyone plus faster speeds, plus lower latency, it's really gonna um, help you notice the difference. And I, I believe everything I've read about um, with at and they, they certainly promise that you'll notice way less latency. That's what they can um, say is the most noticeable change. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, because fundamentally, both 5G and Wi-Fi 6 uh, will be reducing your, your, your network jitters and, and reduce the latency, right? Mm -hmm. So on the 5G portion of it, we'll try to reduce the latency from you to your uh, cellular networks and Wi-Fi 6 technology locally, but also with the new technology like all DMA and MIMO, that will be further helping to reduce the local jitters, right? And then they will further helping to reducing the overall latency for local for your local network. So in general, these two technology marriage together is, is again is a perfect uh, combinations. Now you have, you know, not only performance and much higher capacities and also much lower latency. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's a really good point. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a there's a lot of really a lot of technology packed into this one device, and I think I did see it a little bit earlier here in the chat. Here is um, maybe the situation where 5G isn't available um, in that maybe your your certain area, maybe you're on the go here. Um, so just to kind of get some clarification on it, um, does it go back to 4G? Uh, let's say you're out of that 5G area, and then is it seamless? Like, you know, what how does that situation kind of look like? No, it's quite seamless. So seamless. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, just like today, I mean, for the past four years, if we've seen LTE on our phones, for example, in some areas, mm -hmm. and then you head on to an area, let's say you're on the highway between towns or between cities, you'll see that you fall back to 3G, right? Mm -hmm. So it's seamless for everybody, and, and, and it's going to be the same way 
for, for this device, as you noticed, you probably won't even know. Um, yeah, but it will go on to 5G wherever you have 5G. So that coverage map is really important. And of course, AT&T is going to work on um, blanketing the country, right, with mm -hmm. more blue dots, right, um, and building that out. So you'll notice the coverage map becoming bluer and bluer mm -hmm. as time goes by. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great uh, a great analogy to the phone because I think everybody's experienced that where they see it switching 4G or 5GE and you not you don't notice a, a huge difference in performance, but you're aware of it if you if you look down and see that it's changed. But otherwise, otherwise seamless. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait to get my M5. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, with the amount of questions that we've gotten from all our viewers here, it's like it's something that I think a lot of people are really looking forward to. Um, right. And yeah. I, yeah, and I think that's just kind of like the fact of reality is like I even talk to people at events and like uh, let's say it's like a gaming event um, and they're looking for, for one of our, um, not of our gaming routers, which is awesome, you know, happy to to really learn more about their situation. But of course, you know, if anyone here who's uh, joined Tech Support Live before is like, I want to hear you out. I want to hear what kind of situation you're running into. Some people yeah. just simply don't have good options for, for, for their broadband. Mm -hmm. um, and we're saying here that the... Uh, Five, like let's say 5G, you know, as we start getting more of those blue dots around the map, that that might be a little bit more viable than let's say if you don't have a good broadband option. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That's exactly why we went into fixed wireless options, right? For customers mm -hmm. who um, want to use even the mobile routers at home, they could connect the M5 or M1 or M2 to their existing home router. Mm -hmm. And then they could still use the mobile router. It then becomes a modem function, right? It still connects to right. the network, mm -hmm. but then you're using um, your home router to extend that reach in your home. Mm -hmm. yeah. And really when we kind of like break down the numbers, man, I don't know if you guys have an estimate, but how would you compare, let's say your average DSL speed versus something that the uh, a 5G Wi-Fi 6 speed could get you? So um, typical DSL speed today, uh, you won't be able to reach above 20 meg, well, 20 megabit per second. That's the average. Normally, people are getting probably 6 to 10 meg uh, from the DSL. So even just the LTE, it's already triple or quadruple the, the speed than your traditional DSL uh, services. And with the 5G, now you can reach beyond a gigabit uh, um, cellular speed, internet speed, which is, I don't know how many times, but <laughs> you can see mainly 5G could be the potential um, alternative for replacement for your, your home broadband services in the future. Awesome. So that's, yeah, that's um, how popular. But again, that is not coming yet or soon, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. deployment will take years, mm -hmm. right? But uh, eventually when uh, 5G becomes something like the OTE coverage today, it could be one of the best options for for um, for people that uh, they don't have to tie up to their cable or fiber services anymore, and That's instead right. of five G yeah. as their alternative um, internet uh, options. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we've already gotten lots of good feedback about the Orbi LTE, um, right. the router that uh, again it marries our best, which is we have the Orbi systems that we have. Um, everyone loves Wi-Fi systems and what Orbi does in terms of that. So that's a tri-band mesh or B, but then on the back, um, it's got a SIM in it. I believe you guys saw the video earlier. Uh, we've basically taken that um, mobile technology and put it into our Orbi. So you could choose to still use your um, DSL as your main or cable as your main provider, but if that ever happens to be unavailable or it's temporarily just offline or whatnot, it also seamlessly switches over to your um, mobile network because you already have a SIM in it. So then you'll, it's always what we call always on Wi-Fi. So you'll never be without anything because it's switching from either wired to wireless mm -hmm. um, or you can even use it with just mobile. So just SIM only and you mm -hmm. cut your DSL or cable. Awesome. Again, it's very, very useful. I think this always on Wi-Fi, especially for this new normal, right? This new Corona effect environments, everyone work from home. You really can't afford losing Wi-Fi connections or losing internet connections, right? It's like what happened to me, you know, we understand today's services are much more stable. You don't really just all of a sudden get chopped out. But again, outage does happen. Just even my home, like uh, two weeks ago, we got, it was got, got onto the outage map 
for almost like seven hours. Oh, man. <laughs> right. And I really like without I'm I'm so happy I have the, the OB LT router that I can I can use as an alternative. Otherwise, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to get onto the meeting or talk to you guys or having mm-hmm. my kids do any e learning. Really, that literally just happened to me two weeks ago. So I, mm-hmm. I really think like if the fix you know, or OT router is not really the, the best solution for you. Having a, a handy, you know, hotspot uh, around you will be, you know, I would say really good insurance to make sure exactly, right? You don't you don't get lost or get disconnected. Yeah. Um, today's, you know, how important things are <laughs> for you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, any of the any of the solutions we're showing today are really going to keep you connected at at all times. Yeah. And uh, you know, I love that we've got so many different people that probably use it in very different ways. Like for me, I was primarily using the hotspots. They've saved me so many times and so many of my coworkers too, who've forgotten theirs at trade shows and things like, wait, you have Wi-Fi? Can I connect? Can I connect? Can I connect? Can I connect? Um, and then they automatically connect at the next trade show so they don't, they don't have to bring theirs. But um, yeah, you can always stay connected. One creative way my teenage daughters used this was um, I'm sure some of you may know this or you may not know this. You can, with certain apps that we have available, um, limit the usage of the users uh, that are connected to your Wi-Fi. So I can not disrupt my home's Wi-Fi, but I can control their devices and say, shut the Wi-Fi off. Well, parental controls. Unfortunately for me, they have heard me talk about the mobile (laughs) hotspot that I leave on my desk and uh, (laughs) turn that on and have kept themselves connected all night. And I see that. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's why we make it so easy for you to be able to um, manage your data and, you know, make sure you do have (laughs) some monitoring on there. You know, you got to keep these kids in check, right? Oh, Uh, (laughs) yeah. Well, you can keep alert. So now I have it set to warn me if I hit a certain data limit. But, Mm. yeah, there's there's a lot of functionality you can you can manage from that but yeah there's one way to use it (laughs) perfect and um we are gonna be narrowing down to our last uh actually five minutes here it actually goes by very quick here yeah um so we're gonna have to uh answer some of these questions here we might go a little quickly on them but i want to make sure that hey if you guys anyone here in the chat thank you for joining us Uh, if you have any final questions this is your time to drop it in now uh but salem we got one a little bit earlier uh this one was about the m5 what type of Wi-Fi 6 does the Nick Air M5 have? Is it like the AX800 or AX1800 or the AX3000? In terms of it's 2x2 two two plus 2x2. Two two. So it's the AX1800. 1800. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Um, and Isaac Tower, which is uh, my first time, I think, seeing you here in the chat. So welcome to the show. Uh, does Nick Air make a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot with unthrottled unlimited data? If you want unlimited, what is their best option? We don't offer any data plan today. Uh, on our um, LTE router device, like Orbi, it does. We does partner with a third party called Clearway or Trackphone uh, and BNO partners to provide you a very user a very compelling data plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but today we don't. Um, we don't offer a Netgear branded um, data plan mm-hmm. to the users. All right. Yeah. So just to, I, I, so just to clarify, I do think. Um, Christine, our girl in the live control room, she was able to drop a link to the Clearway um, plans for anyone here who's interested in seeing what's available. Um, go ahead and check out that URL. Awesome. And Isaac, is a, there's a follow-up question here. Well, I, I, this is going to be more on the 5G rollout. Um, does 5G require more towers? It, it Indeed, right? Well, a mm-hmm. lot of... Uh, uh, it's, Long story short, yes, yes, there are a lot of uh, uh, um, the, the, the carriers are doing a massive deployment right now. It take will take some time for them to fully, yeah. But mainly, what they're doing is leverage to the current LTE tower, right, and then uh, upgrading the equipments, and they will share the bandwidth or frequency with their current LTE bands, and eventually will be a standalone five G um, mm-hmm. spectrum. Yeah, Perfect. but uh, it's it's uh, working in progress in parallel. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and I do think that there are coverage maps here available. I do see Vanessa, she was able to find a map uh, with four cell towers um, around her. And she also does bring up a good point. Um, Her brother's a truck driver. So I think definitely this uh, remote workforce, um, you know, being able to have Wi-Fi everywhere you go. Again, this is just something that I keep hearing more and more. And really what Nick is doing is to empower everyone to get the best internet they can everywhere they go. 
And I think that's the mobile story. You know, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, really what we're just trying to do here. All right. Yeah. Well, we're down to our last minute here. I wanted to thank everybody for, for joining the chat today. Uh, this is uh, the virtual event series. So again, this is your best way to get in touch with our team members, our product managers. Um, thank you, Janice, Max, Trina, for joining me here on today's show. I hope that you guys enjoyed it yeah. uh, as much as uh, everyone here in the chat. Thank you very much. Yeah. I hope so. So we're down to the top of the hour. Again, um, this is something that we do uh, on Tuesdays, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time. But stay tuned for our next show. Uh, we will be giving you guys updates on exactly what is uh, coming up on um, our stream schedule. So highly, highly, highly recommend. Even if you're not looking for any kind of help whatsoever, I encourage you guys to just hang with the team. Uh, we do Friday tech support live streams from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time. So essentially the same exact time, but on Fridays, where if you guys need help upgrading your router, if you guys need help setting up your product, if you guys need help, Figure out what you want to buy because there's so many mm -hmm. options here, whether it's a hotspot, whether it's a router, whether it's even um, some of our managed switches from, from Netgear Business. We do have our support experts here to help you uh, every week. And we just love to just be able to kind of see you guys here in the chat all the time. So Angela, one, one last thing. Uh, I forgot yes. to mention, um, today we're running a promo of the uh, AC797s on the Netgear uh, uh, online store. So right now you're, you're getting there, you can get the price for $149. So again, it's a, yeah, which is very compelling versus the um, uh, NAP or MSRP is it's 229 originally. Yeah. Exactly. So again, That's if you need an alternative version. solution, yeah, it's the unlock retail version. So any one of you who needs alternative uh, um, solution for your internet, you know, right now is the best timing to go on to our store. Yeah, Perfect. to get one. Go ahead and uh, yeah. check that out. I do think um, we could, I, actually, I think this is the, the link that's in the YouTube description. So highly recommend everyone to go ahead and check that out. And Max, that is for the Nighthawk M1. Just wanna make sure I No, get that, that right. is for the AC797. The AC797. Yeah. Gotcha, so gotcha. So this is the one that uh, Aircar series. Yep. Perfect, perfect. But um, we okay. could go ahead and flip that link, the Aircard 7097 that is currently on sale on our website. Um, I'll have to kind of go ahead and uh, flip to the other page here. But in any case, the uh, link that is in the YouTube or in the YouTube description, um, that'll take you right to this link. This is the mobile router link. So highly encourage everyone here to check out what we got to offer. Again, um, this is something that is so important to us, um, just being able to get Wi-Fi to really as many customers as we possibly can, no matter where you live. Because again, you know, we can't, um, we want you guys to have options and we want you guys to have the to, to stay connected that is the main theme awesome well thank you everybody again i wanted to uh thank my special guest here on the show and everyone here in the chat i hope that you guys come on our friday tech support live show and stay tuned for more content coming to you soon hit that like hit that subscribe hit that bell if you want to be notified if you give us that like you're going to get this show to more eyes uh and we could keep on doing the show for as long as everyone here is in the chat enjoying it but till next time Thank you, everyone, for joining, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See you later. Bye.